people from all over India and Jammu Kashmir had filed a petition in the Supreme Court. It is regarding the conversion of Jammu and Kashmir into Union territory and the abrogation of Article 370. The petitions filed said that the Indian government had not followed the constitution when they converted Jammu Kashmir into a Union territory. The petitions also said that after the conversion of Jammu Kashmir into a Union Territory and the removal of Article 370, all forms of communication such as telephones, internet, the television were all shut down. They are not permitted out of their houses as well. People are not even allowed to go to the Jammu Kashmir High Court. After listening to all these petitions, the Supreme Court has told the Jammu Kashmir government to make sure the situation in Jammu Kashmir is back to normal. People must be allowed to walk around, go to hospitals and use public transport as well. Schools and colleges must be started as well. The Supreme Court has asked the Jammu Kashmir government to relax the strict rules. They have asked them to make sure India and the state of Jammu Kashmir are protected from terrorist infiltrators. They told them to maintain security. The CJI, Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gogoi, said, Jammu Kashmir must follow the Supreme Court's orders. Otherwise, he warned that he would visit the state. After the conversion of Jammu Kashmir into a Union territory, Chief Minister and Member of Parliament Farooq Abdullah sign name who is 81 years old was not allowed to leave his house. Now the government has placed him under house arrest under the Public Safety Act. This law focuses on areas in emergency situations. This law is divided in two parts. The first includes rules that the public must follow. The second focuses on the process to resolve a threat to the state. Farooq Abdullah was arrested for not helping and instigating the public. After Jammu Kashmir was turned into a union territory, Farooq Abdullah was the first politician to face such a strict punishment. 